Today is July the 6th. What is God's timetable? Let's find out together as we read Psalm 74 and 75. In reading through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read Psalm 74 and 75. Uh, these are early in book three of the book of Psalms. That starts in Psalm 73. These are all Psalms of Asaph. Asaph may have been a category of people instead of an individual person. We don't really know. Uh, in Psalm 74, um, Oh God, why have you rejected us so long? The entire psalm is a psalm of lament. It's a psalm in which the psalmist uh, complains at what has taken place. Uh, this is apparently exilic. In uh, verse 7, they have burned the sanctuary of the Lord. The temple has been destroyed. In verse 9, we no longer see your miraculous signs. All the prophets are gone. The psalmist apparently has been in Jerusalem. Um, he's just discouraged. And in Psalm 74, there's no resolution to that. The psalm, the entire psalm, is kind of depressing. Well, in Psalm 75, the tone changes. If these two psalms belong together, it may be that Psalm 75 is the answer to Psalm 74. Psalm 75, 1, we thank you, O God. We give thanks because you are near. God says, at the time I have planned, I'll bring justice against the wicked. Psalm 75 goes on and he talks about God's justice, how it will come. And at the end, in verse 10, God says, I will break the strength of the wicked, but I will increase the power of the godly. The whole issue of Psalm 74 and 75 is the fact that God has his own timetable. Now in Psalm 74, the psalmist doesn't see God acting, but he still prays. He still stays connected to God. In Psalm 75, he comes back and he says, and I believe that you will answer. God will answer. It will be on his timetable, not ours. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll answer the question, what does it mean to be saved?